Jones. Yo, 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 welcome to come Truth, on, come we're back on. in the building. Live and direct. Uh, come on, today we're going to chop it up, fresh mm. topic for you lot, um, episode two. Um, what we're going to be speaking about is information versus understanding. Yeah. Information versus understanding. I think mm. the best place to start is just kind of shed some light on what we mean by this. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Try to blow information versus understanding. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, here we are. Um, we're just going to define what we're talking about and hopefully uh-huh. we can just rap about it as the spirit has laid on our hearts yeah so um yeah you want me to take it away by definition or yeah yeah universal? i think um yeah definition information mm. um i've got here oxford languages for you. oh you're going definition yeah? definition oxford languages <laughs> no it says information is facts provided or learned about something or someone mm. you know what i mean so facts provided or I would learn about something or someone. So for me, I guess information information can be stored up, right? And I think this is the one thing about information. Information only becomes useful when you know how to use it. Mm. Do you get me? Because if you have a lot of facts about something or you've learned something, mm. until you apply the information that you've learned, it doesn't mean anything. Useless. Mm-hmm. It doesn't mean anything. It just sits there. And so what we have in... Um, christendom Mm. um is a lot of information people Mm. that know a lot of stuff but we don't apply it (laughs) so if we know a lot of stuff and we don't apply it we actually don't get anywhere and so you see that we can be at the same maturity that we Mm. was for x amount of years just because we didn't apply the information Mm. we're given let's go diving straight into scripture let's open our bibles to hebrews 5 and 12 fantastic Hebrews 5 and 12. And this is what the scripture says. It says, you have been believers so long now that you ought to be teaching others. Mm. Instead, you need someone to teach you again the basic Mm. things about God, God's word. You are like babies who need milk and who cannot eat solid food. Mm. It says, for someone who lives on milk is still an infant and doesn't know how to do what is right. Mm -hmm. So you see here, the person writing in Hebrews is, is not necessarily talking about the fact that they haven't learnt this stuff or they know it. He's saying that, bro, you've been believers so long now. So i.e., how can you not know this stuff? You have you've you've heard about it, so how are you still doing the same things? It doesn't make sense. You're unskilled in righteousness. So then we have to look at okay, the, the information that we're getting on a daily basis or on a weekly basis from our from our various churches, from online, from yeah, whatever, yeah. how are we actually using it? But let yeah. me not go into too much. John, you started at a great pace. Mm. You started fantastic. I think you've laid down the foundations very well. Um, and there's a lot of pressure from this side. <laughs> <laughs> no. Shut up. <laughs> My brother. But the whole time you were speaking, I was just thinking, and this is going to be a mouthful. Yeah. Um, but it's almost the application of information mm. is an indication of your understanding. Oh, Johnson. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll try. It's a bit of a mouthful. Yeah. Um, but I, like I guess that. just to break it down, you see that someone understands because of how they ap- apply certain things in mm. their lives. Mm. Um, when you're understanding the a mathematical equation, you're mm-hmm. able to go forth and apply yeah. the same principles yeah. and pattern. Yeah. And I think in our worldview as Christians, like you mentioned, there's so many people who retain <coughs> retain so much information about Jesus, about mm-hmm. the gospel, about our, our, our faith, yeah. and think they're okay. Mm. But where there is no application, there's no indication in your life that you know, yeah. you've understood the gospel because yeah. the gospel, when you understand it, there mm. is a response. I love that. Um, that response is the way you live your life, the way mm. you break at sin, you know, mm. the way your attitude is sought towards so many different things. And yeah. This is what we want to tackle on this episode where yeah. this is a generation that's filled with information. Mm-hmm. We know too much. There's a yeah. lot of people that can rap Bible to you yeah, yeah, yeah. and they think they're patterned. Yeah. But that's that's religious. You yeah, can yeah, look yeah. at John 5, I believe, mm-hmm. and Jesus is speaking to the Pharisees. You know, it, he's talking about, I think it's John 5, 39. Mm-hmm. And he says, you know, you guys know the scriptures, mm-hmm. you read the scriptures, but 
you fail to see that the scriptures point to me. Mm. It, it points to Jesus Christ. And um, if that's not the correct scripture, we'll get it up anyway for yeah, you to yeah. see. No problem. Um, but that, that emphasis there, you know, you're looking at the scriptures, you have so much information. The Pharisees were brilliant. Yeah. They're people that know so much. Yeah. But they fail to see that in the scriptures, Jesus is the person that I have to look to. And I think yeah. understanding brings you to a place where mm. you exalt Jesus in in everything. Nah, I think mm. that's I think that's fantastic. Mm. And there's a few things that I wanted to pick out when you was when you was <coughs> Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. <coughs> sip some water, my brother. Sip some water. Yeah, let me sip something. Yeah, hay yeah. fever that got me down bad, oh, you know. Hay fever, like, if mm. I get started, everyone that has hay fever will be onto me. <laughs> you glasses lot. <laughs> I believe Jesus gives you the ability to overcome hay fever. I believe Jesus gives you the ability to see. Hey, simple. Me. Yes, bro. But just going back to going back to what you was um, talking about, yeah? yeah. And this is something that I really want us to highlight and just just take a look at. You mentioned a mathematical equation, mm. and you said about how mm -hmm. look you. you you can understand this to get the right answer. You must understand the equation. Yeah. Remember those times, yeah, in school that you can, you don't know how you got to the answer, but you fluked it. Mm -hmm. So then you can look like yeah. you've Ooh. bust, Ooh. but you haven't understood the thing at all. That's potent. And so when it comes to testing time, mm. when it comes to the actual test and they change it a little bit, mm -hmm. it looks slightly different. Mm -hmm. Because you didn't understand the formula, mm -hmm. you can't get the mm -hmm. question right when it comes to the test. Fantastic. And that's something that, self-evaluation must deal with we must yeah. look at ourselves whether are we are we informed about jesus mm. or do we understand him mm -hmm. do we understand that christ is king do we that's, understand that he's lord good. of our lives another example if we look at the scripture it says the rich man it says luke 8 18 it mm. says once a religious leader asked jesus this question good teacher what should i do to inherit etern eternal life mm. it says why do you call me good jesus asked him only god is truly good mm. so he was somebody that and i just want to pause there I mean, um you can read on it's a very interesting yeah. it's very it's very very interesting mm. but what i want us to understand is that if you remember the encounter that jesus had with peter mm -hmm. and he said to peter oh peter who do you say i am mm. <laughs> peter had the formula yeah. Peter Peter is a Jew that knew them talking about the difference between the two Jews, mm. yeah, and the Holy Spirit granted an illumination. Mm. If you Peter was a person that was a Jew and understood the Torah, da 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 da, yeah. da and yeah. he has read the prophecies, yeah. then when he got to know Jesus, the formula added up to him, like, oh my gosh, you are the Messiah, the Son of yeah. the Living God. Yeah. Right? This religious leader had you know he knew what to do if you read further down about mm. the commandments he mm. knew mm -hmm. but it's almost like he was flunking the test or mm. he was getting it mm. off on a on an off chance because mm. when he says when he says to when jesus says to him why do you call me good mm. only god is good if he knew who he was dealing with mm -hmm. he would have said because you, you are, are god <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah. so sometimes people try and use that scripture as to like demand i don't want to go apologetics here yeah. but try and disprove christ or christ was saying only god is good no yeah, yeah, if yeah. that person but knew an understanding of who god was he would have known before him he would have known that's fantastic and there's so many encounters in the bible where people didn't have that revelation yeah the woman at the well mm. if you knew the person that's offering uh, you yeah, water yeah you'd chill out yeah you know what i mean like, yeah that's yeah that's profound that's profound and um, it's it's amazing because I think there's so many of those people amongst us. Mm, mm. People are walking with information thinking they have the understanding. Mm. And these are probably the people that are being judgmental and yeah, religious yeah. and yeah. they think they're, yeah. they're in right standing yeah. with God. But yeah. when you don't have an understanding of the gospel, mm -hmm. you could even, your, your faith, your salvation is questionable mm. because you're saved if you've truly come to understand yeah. that Jesus is the Lord of your life and mm. so forth. So it's even scary, like there's a lot of artificial believers, mm. should I say, in, in our midst, in mm -hmm. our presence. And mm -hmm. I think uh, when when I pondered on these things, it was a matter of, rah, like I'm taken aback, look at my mm -hmm. own life. Am, yeah. I, am I informed? Or yeah. Do I understand? understand. Do you know yeah. what I mean? I think where, where I want to hone in at is the response aspect. Because mm. fam, when you have an understanding, your, your attitude is different. The yeah. way you respond is different. Yeah. Even things like quiet time. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. the way you, some people have such an urgency if I don't do quiet time, like it's, I'm missing time with mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. This is someone that understands that they need yeah, this yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need yeah, it. But yeah. others, you're too informed. Yeah. 
even on the flip side, or perhaps another perspective to explore, people are just puffed up in knowledge. Mm. You, you have so much info yeah. about this yeah. thing, you think you're patterned, uh -huh. and that pride is going to be your downfall. Yeah, it's, it's gonna speak be your that. Demise. Talk that. You know what I mean? And, Talk that. Um, again, these are things that I was prompting on myself, and I think mm -hmm. it's one that us as believers need to be very aware of. Do you know what I mean? Car, what does it matter how much you know yeah, if facts. there's no indication of fruit in your life? Mm. You, know, you know them by your fruit, right? Mm. That's what the scriptures say. And so I think let's be careful. Let's be careful not yeah. to. Um, just try and know so much so we can have certain conversations at a table. Oh, speak. Um, but rather make sure you've understood the gospel. Mm. Um, you continue to understand it and that way your life will be a living testimony. You get me to the people around you. It's massive. Right, Bruce, it's come massive. on. Nah, yeah. nah, nah. Stella, nah. I don't mm. even want to ban her too much because yeah, I was proper. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I love that. And I think the big scripture that hammers on, we know it. And you know what's funny? In like the, the Christian setting, we may, we go study to show yourself mm. approved that's what mm. we said we stopped there that's not the scripture that's not the scripture let's yeah. read the whole thing yeah. right because the, I'll, I'll, I will <laughs> show you fantastic. where I'll show you where the actual comma stops and yeah. where we should stop it's 2nd Timothy 2 15 mm. it says be diligent to present yourself approved to God mm. there's where the comma stops mm. so it's study to show yourself approved to God, mm. not to man, mm. not to friends, not to different circles, mm. to God. Mm. And how do we study and show ourselves approved? We look at Matthew 3, 8, it says, prove by the way you live mm. that you've truly repented. So mm. everything that we get from the scriptures, like you were saying, mm -hmm. is built up into the quality of mm. our life. Mm. The quality of our That's life. Fantastic. What's the quality of our actual That's life fantastic. saying? And I think the word, I love the, the first line, it says, be diligent. So this also shows us that, okay, this is not a one-stop shop. Mm. This is not a thing where I'm spewing out some Greek to some friends to impress or mm. I'm trying to come into church one, two times early to show that, oh, I'm serious. or mm. No, nah. this is about being diligent. So diligent is about continuous. Mm. This is a thing that is not, it's not just a one, <coughs> sorry, I Mm. I'm actually feeling a bit rough, yeah. but I'm here. Um, receive your healing. <laughs> simple, simple. I receive it now. Come on, right now. I receive it right now. <laughs> right now. But yeah, like diligence, like continually working at something. You know mm. what I mean? Um, like we're so quick nowadays to pick up one thing. If it doesn't happen for us, then yeah, we move on. But with Christ, you must be diligent yeah. to really work at that. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's fantastic. And even what you've put, um, just mentioned there, I want us to stretch it a little mm. bit, exhaust it in that. You know, when one thing doesn't work, we're looking for the next alternative mm. to try and pattern us. But um, the Bible says, um, for a lack of understanding, my people perish. Mm -hmm. Is it Hosea? Mm -hmm. Hosea 3? Hosea 4, 4, 6, I want to say. Something like that. Yeah, double check. Um, for a lack of understanding, my people perish. Mm. Um, perishing being, you know, ultimately falling into sin. Yeah. Um, and I think just looking at, again, Christianity and the fact that we will fall into temptation is something that we'll all face. Mm. Um, if you have an understanding of the scriptures, you know who has the power yeah. over your life. Yeah. And yeah. I think because we're so informed, mm -hmm. we're in a cycle of habitual sin. Mm. We, we allow ourselves to think, oh, I'm weak, I'm insane. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. But the one who has understanding mm. in their Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna be no yeah. slave to yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not you know a punch I mean? bag. So you, it's, it's it's a massive perspective that I really want us to grasp mm. and come to desire because it's Christ who will grant you that understanding mm. based on how desperate you are for yes, Him. Yes, yes. You get me. And so I think if we're looking at the scriptures, I've even mentioned it previously, but mm -hmm. just how it's Christ who gives us triumph over, over sin. sin. Yeah. If I understand that, rah, this is the Lord of my life. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm plug it into him <laughs> i have triumph over sin yeah i'm not gonna be no slave to that yeah yeah yeah, yeah, no yeah, yeah. More, do you know what i mean yeah, i think yeah. understanding is is the power that drives your life mm. do you know what i mean it's, yeah. it's something that carries you man because if you're informed you're just retaining mad information mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but the scriptures aren't just words that you're reading there's a yeah. spirit behind it wow and when you get that understanding that's the spirit that's working in your life yeah, do you yeah. know what i mean so, yeah yeah I think, I feel wed important. I think <laughs> that that's it, isn't it? Because I feel like, like you were saying, we are we are in a generation where everything is easily accessible. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could just go on Google mm -hmm. if you want to mm -hmm. just find out anything. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. 
if I need a, if I can't even remember the, exactly where a scripture is, I could just Google Shrink the Google. line and I just, I'm, I do, oh yeah, I'm, it. I'm printing it. it as we speak. <laughs> I'll rinse it. Like, if I don't know where something is, I'll just Google the line. Oh, I can the remember the words line. That I remember. You know? Yeah. It's and then you know what I'm saying? So like, but if, 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 do, if you don't allow those scriptures to just sit in your heart, then it just become head knowledge mm. and it doesn't really actually mean anything. And I just want to say that in terms of, yes, Remembering scripture is good. Mm-hmm. Um, you said it on a, a previous podcast. Yeah. A maturing believer, you must memorize, re- memorize scripture. Yeah. I love that. And it's fact. Mm-hmm. And with that, you must also live it. Mm. You must live it. You must mm. memorize it. You must live it. Mm. And that shows your actual understanding. Yeah. And I think understanding is not just in in that, but what is our understanding in the way that we treat people, mm. in the way that we love, in all that sort of stuff. Like <clears throat> these are all measuring indicators. If we look mm. at the fruit of the spirit, great measuring indicators yeah. to see if we actually understand what we're reading. Yeah. And just and as well, like even to maybe the unbel- um, unbelievers that are listening or the, the guys that are a bit more skeptic, yeah. then you may have a lot of what you what you have information about stuff, mm. but that doesn't necessarily mean it's true. Mm. And that's what I want to go to. Mm. A lot of information, just because we have a lot of information doesn't necessarily mean it's true. Mm. When people are thinking about, oh, Christ and this and that, oh, is it real? Is it true? Et cetera, et cetera. Mm. How about you dig in? <laughs> because a lot of the time, when we're out here or unbelievers or maybe oh, we don't really want to go into this Jesus thing. Yeah. It's more just information that we've heard. Mm-hmm. We've we have we have been informed or somebody's told us that, mm-hmm. oh yeah, that Christ stuff is just a lot mm-hmm. of malarkey. Mm-hmm. But you haven't made the the thing to look. Yeah. And yeah. I just want to speak for me, I want to speak to someone's conscience, not yeah. your in- I don't want to speak to your intellect. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But if you think about it, like the 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 conscience of morality is written on your heart. Mm. On your mm-hmm. heart. This is something that you can't... This is not something that information is going to give you. Mm-hmm. It's something that your conscience has mm-hmm. given you. Mm-hmm. That when you do something wrong, you understand, you feel guilty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You don't need nobody to tell you that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So sometimes like, yeah, information's good, mm-hmm. but not all information's good. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Not all information is correct and mm-hmm. useful. Not all information is right. So how about search the scripture for yourself? Scripture tells us that if you draw close to me, he will mm-hmm. draw close to you. And I can yeah. guarantee if you search the scriptures with an open heart, you search mm-hmm. the scriptures with looking for the truth to find out if this Jesus really real, mm-hmm. with no bias and an open heart, a humble heart, there is no way mm. that you cannot see the beauty in yeah. Jesus and the Holy Spirit will grant you illumination. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. That is fantastic, bro. Um, bro. God bless you for that one still. Um, I think even just to echo it a little bit, just um, the assurance we have in scripture and our worldview, we believe that um, even the information that we're, we're faced with is, is useless and mm. inactive. Um, without us having understanding from the spirit, yeah. Um, as the scriptures say in Corinthians, mm. I think in one Corinthians chapter two, mm-hmm. um, that you know spiritual things are, are foolishness to to the human mm-hmm. mind. And mm-hmm. so, when you bring yourself to the Word of God and you're you're reading, seeking information, the Spirit of God will draw you to an understanding, and mm. um, that's where the revelation comes, and that's when you dis- you find truth in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Um. So yeah, man, poke poke the bear. <laughs> poke a bear come and take it in for yourself and I'm assured that Christ doesn't want anybody to perish yes. any of his children yes. to perish you yes. know what I mean and he'll bring you that understanding so yeah, yeah man with that being said like I, I think um, you're definitely speaking on like mm-hmm. a, a big topic here yeah yeah. and I'm trying to explore even another angle uh-huh. whereby cool we're speaking about revelation <coughs> we're speaking about understanding and you tapped up you tapped um, into it a little bit in terms of looking at the factors that would make you say, okay, cool, I am walking in understanding. Mm-hmm. What what factors can we give people out there? Um, or even one factor, and I'll hold one as well, mm-hmm. if spirit brings it to mind. Yeah, yeah. Um, but what factors can we kind of look at? Mm-hmm. You've mentioned the fruits of the Holy Spirit mm-hmm. in an individual's life. Mm-hmm. That's an indication that you are walking in understanding. Yeah. Um, what could be another indication or another factor for someone in that regard? Um, change life. Mm. Change life. Mm. So even before you get to the fruits and everything like that, change life. Mm. The fruits is an indication of a changed life. Yeah. But can you look at 
your past and be like, hey, I actually can see the hand of God is moving from the kingdom of old darkness self. to the kingdom of light. Super and you're not like your old self. And I'm not talking about, oh, you've grown up and you've just seen that, oh, there's certain things no more. Mm -hmm. You don't do no more. And you've substituted it for something else. Mm -hmm. No, I'm talking about you can physically see the Trust hand of God has just moved you from mm -hmm. A to Z. Because when you look at it and you look at the scriptures, you meet the people that has encountered Christ Jesus they move from A to Z. Mm -hmm. Peter, A to Z. Yeah. John, A to Fantastic. Z. Everybody that encountered that Christ Jesus, A to Z. Mm. Paul, A to Z. The list goes on mm -hmm. and on mm -hmm. and on. Even the thief, right? Mm -hmm. In the final moments of mm -hmm. on his life, he's gone from A to Z. Mm. Big change. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So those, for me, is, a, is another indicator. Can yeah. you look at your life and see the hand of God and that's where the biggest thing is yeah. the thing will not be about oh self I've done it mm -hmm. but you would be you grateful this. that oh my gosh the hand yeah. of God has moved me from the kingdom that's of darkness superb. to the kingdom of light that's superb yeah yeah bro but I yeah like I will that. throw that same question yeah. back to you want to hear your your um, perspective on it still yeah I think I think it would be appetite Mm. appetite and, and thirst should I say oh, I like that. the same thing um, a factor that you know you understand the word of God is what what are you thirsting for nowadays mm. what do, what's your appetite for do you still thirst for the same things that you used to mm. um, even the nitty gritties that your desire for the films that you want to watch mm. your desire for the language that you use <laughs> you know the word <laughs> of God tells <laughs> us in speech and conduct yeah. all these things yeah yeah, God, yeah, right? yeah 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 so yeah yeah G check your thirst, G check your appetite. Um, perhaps even appetite in terms of friendship. Mm. What what do you desire to still step out with those who will cause you to to cripple your salvation? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. I think that's a massive indicator. Mm -hmm. If you desire and thirst for for more godliness is is very evident yeah. do you know what i mean yeah sometimes you might want to shut yourself in the room and just read yeah. you just want to read your word that, yeah, that's yeah. a beautiful indication what you thirst and hunger for yeah. massive indication no nah, i really that like that you have an understanding i really of like the gospel. that i really like that and yeah. just i say then it, it, in that case if i if i'm say i'm an individual i look back now i'm thinking raw it's not really I, I don't think I've moved too tough mm. because if I if someone's just being honest and transparent with mm. themselves now they've they've heard they think oh right like maybe I, I don't think I have moved then yeah. what what advice how can they what can you give to them what can you say to them yeah. to sort of help them in that regard yeah um, I think they're in the best position I think that's mm. always the best position to mm. be um, to see your mm -hmm. position is the best place to be in. If you don't see room for growth or yeah. Yeah, I'm all it, you're not being meek. It's, yeah. it's the best position to be in. If you don't see any room for growth, mm. um, it's it's questionable. Yeah. So I think that's first thing. It's very humbling to know that that's the position you're in. Mm -hmm. um, and I think an encouragement is just knowing that um, the person that you want to partner with mm. is so ready to accelerate. That's the beautiful thing. That's the beautiful thing that I'm nothing and in my desire to want to grow, I'm going to partner up with someone who wants to accelerate, mm. you know, and I think the posture should be cool. I haven't moved. I'm hungry to move. Yeah. I, I want to grow. Yeah. That's why scripture says be like newborn babies. Mm. Be thirsty for that spiritual milk yeah. so that you will grow in your salvation. Fantastic. Right? So I think that's my encouragement. Just place your posture in a place where you desire mm. and trust me if you taste and you see that the lord is good mm. 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 you're heading in one direction Simple. You know what I mean? and be practical with it there are things that you have to implement i'm speaking into your life like i know there's probably a lot of people that mm. are in this position i'm speaking into your lives right now you have to respond mm. you have to respond to these things and be yeah. practical don't just sit there and recognize what needs to be done Go and get it done. Yeah. And partner up with Christ Jesus and the Spirit will carry you through your goal. Hey, fantastic. Honestly. Fantastic. Yeah. That's beautiful, bro. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's you just speaking. I was thinking, hey, you've covered on that basis. I don't need to go there. <laughs> the only thing I'm going to see to then mm. is the ones that are, yeah, you can recognize I've moved from the kingdom of darkness mm. to the kingdom of light. I'm here, but I've just, you're, you're, you're comfortable mm. just there. 
and you're comfortable just settling. Yeah, you know the Bible stories. Yeah, you live it. And you're mm-hmm. there. You're calm. You're cushioned. <laughs> just settling. Mm-hmm. And so you've gone from the point where, yep, you understand salvation and everything. You understand it. You're walking in your Christian life. But now you're lacking in information. Move. You're lacking because mm-hmm. you stop digging. Mm-hmm. You stop going further in that pursuit to know Jesus. Mm-hmm. Even in the, the remember the the mysteries of Christ are infinite. The, the the mysteries of Christ. The, the scripture tells in Colossians one fifteen that He is the mm-hmm. very visible mm-hmm. image of an invisible God. God. And yeah. so if that's the case, and we have this book, Jesus being the Word, that means there is infinite mysteries. Mm-hmm in here there's infinite things to know about jesus we can read this over we can we're going to read this for our lifetime Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. we're still going to die not knowing all the mysteries of christ (laughs) in this book that's how that's how beautiful and majestic christ is yeah depth depth Depth. you know what i mean so in that case then i would advise you Mm. to look into the history of christ Mm. jesus get deeper don't settle just for yet you understand the stories okay Mm -hmm. this is what i shouldn't do push Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. say christ i want to see this in 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 all its glory i want to see more beauty i want to understand show me something that i haven't seen before Mm -hmm. go with that attitude pray Mm -hmm. that don't get comfortable if you think oh i'm reading it oh yeah it's nice but mm, i want something new pray Mm -hmm. holy spirit open my eyes that i may see the infinite beauties of your word i may see the scriptures in a new light Mm -hmm. and so i won't get comfortable give me the desire to know the scriptures that i may be able to defend your faith because mm. if you the scripture like tells us in in first peter three fifteen, mm. it says sanctify the lord god in your hearts mm. and always be ready to give a defense for the faith that you have mm. so if you found yourself that you know yes i'm out of the kingdom of darkness and you sanctified the lord mm. god in your heart then you have a responsibility to Come also on. have the information and also present it to people so they can understand mm. so now we've gone from okay you've gone from information to understanding now Fantastic. it's about I must give the information so they can understand. Mm-hmm. It's no longer about oh myself, but because I'm pushing through, it's yeah. about I must give have the information yeah. so they can understand also. Yeah. And that's the beauty of our faith. That's mm-hmm. the beauty of Christ Jesus. Mm-hmm. So I just want to encourage us in that way to push deeper. Yeah. Don't yeah. don't just yeah I'm doing my devotion like it's devotion more, push more, through push push and know Jesus man fantastic know him in a deeper way nah fantastic well God bless you that was very much needed very much um yeah man there's no need for me to even add anything to that I think you, you've touched on the core of of that mm. um angle um in the sense that information is not a bad thing mm. it's not a bad thing we started off as though it was a bad thing mm. it was have understanding not information mm-hmm. but as a growing believer mm-hmm. how can you not be informed yeah and and it's god who does the understanding mm-hmm. you know so that is a fantastic perspective mm-hmm. god bless you so yeah, much bless you bro um but yeah man on that note um man's gonna wrap it up yeah still. bro you come on episode come has on. been certain yeah profound. yeah i've you enjoyed this one still. so yeah man obviously the basics as you know um, the usual follow us on every social media yes, platform yes. instagram underscore truth uk yeah make sure you follow the youtube subscribe uh-huh. share with come your on, mums your, your on. dads aunties all everybody of that. gotta truth get UK, it <laughs> but, yeah man love for tuning in yes and, yes oh, yeah man okay. Lord, show me show me away show me away show me away show me away